everyone, welcome back. Today we're doing a video which I am so excited for. I actually like, I'm, I've am i been waiting to do this video. Today we are gonna be doing an updated five star predictions video. So I only really just reacted to my last one. It took me a while to read the books of that list, but when I reacted to it, when I tell you, I almost got them all right. Like they were almost all five stars. We had a lot of my favorite books of last year on the list, like The Night Circus and Middle Game come to mind. So like, I feel so good about this. See, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but. Not to sound cocky, but like I'm cocky about this. These are all gonna be five stars. I believe it. Like there's no way. I feel like I'm really good at predicting books that are gonna be five stars apart from when they're not honest honestly you guys i feel like i have the best taste in music like i think it's very hard to beat me in taste in music like i think bar one book on my last prediction video were all like 4.5 five stars so i've got 10 more books and i'm gonna tell you them now and these are kind of the books i'm most excited to read and the books i think i'm gonna love so let's just get straight into it so the first book that came to mind when i knew i was gonna do this video was The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. So, this book, I have not heard a single bad thing about. Literally, the whole of Booktube is in this book's pocket. Everyone, everyone's obsessed with it. I've literally only heard amazing things. So this is about Linus Baker, who is a caseworker in the Department of Magical Youth. And he has to travel to this island where a couple of kids, like a group of kids live. And it's kind of, I think he kind of falls in love with the guy who runs the orphanage. The kids, I believe, have kind of superpowers that could make them possibly dangerous. But what I have heard about this is that it reads so magical and whimsical and like a fairy tale. And we all know that is my favorite thing. I love good news. Love good news. I just love good news. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing kind of like fantasy, whimsical, you know, just like floatiness. I need more of that. Like, I feel like I need more of that fantasy. That is my favorite kind of fantasy. I'm not particularly like a swords and like high epic fantasy kind of gal. I like soft, soft floaty fantasy. fantasy. That's not a term anyone else uses, like soft floaty fantasy. <laughs> But like, I feel like you get what I mean. The fact that this has been described as that, I just know. Like, I just know it in my heart. This is gonna be five stars. Everyone has given it five stars, so I can't not. That is my logic. Everyone has given it five stars, so I can't not give it five stars. Okay, next is one I'm so excited for. And I, this is one of my most anticipated releases at the start of this year. We all know I've been in the reading slump, but <laughs> um, I'm hoping it's gonna be one I get to pretty soon, like after uni is done. And it is The Project by Courtney Summers. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. So I gave Sadie by Courtney Summers five stars. It's one of my favorite audiobooks of all time. This is about a cult. It's got cult in the synopsis and I love books with cults in them. I think they're really interesting to explore the like the psych <laughs> I think they're really interesting to explore the psychology behind them and the trauma that can have on people. So basically the project is a cult and we have two sisters one who I believe goes into the cult and then the other one is kind of investigating it and trying to prove that it's like not good. I've heard mixed things about this. I've heard people who thought they were gonna love it, not love it. That does make me nervous. However, this is one of my favorite like covers and vibes around a book. We all know the vibes, the vibes are so important. This is just the atmosphere around this book. <laughs> I can't, I can't emphasize to enough how excited I am to read this. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? I feel like it's gonna be my perfect kind of thriller, dark, atmospheric, mysterious, the investigation around this cult. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. So I truly believe this is gonna be a five stars. Okay, another one that has been one of my most anticipated books for a long time, and I have a great, <laughs> I've said it before, I have a great video plan for this, <laughs> but I don't have any other books for the video, like for the theme, so I need to like figure out what they are. But 
Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia is gonna be five stars. It's gonna be five stars. So this is a horror. I believe this won the Goodreads horror last year. Oh my God, just holding this book. <gasps> oh! Yeah! I feel like I'm getting my mojo back with reading and booktube again now that university is like almost over and just holding this book. It's like the way it makes me feel. I'm so excited. So this is a horror set in 1950s Mexico and Noemi gets I think a letter from her cousin who is just married into this family saying that her new husband is trying to poison her and you must come save her. Save me? What is the proper thing to say there? I don't know. Stupid, 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 stupid. I don't know. I have just heard that this really can get into your head. Now I was gonna, there is something I know about a certain vegetable that <laughs> this book never allows you to look at the same again. But I've been told that's kind of a spoiler, but I mean, I know it and I don't really, but I'm not gonna say it, but if you know, you know. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. If you know, you know. If you don't know, like I honestly feel bad for you. Like, I don't fully know. I just know that I'm gonna be uncomfortable around that vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just so excited. I haven't read much horror. Like, oh no, I suppose I read House of Leaves. <laughs> but I don't read a ton of horror and it's definitely a genre I want to get more into. But this is another one that I have just kind of heard universally good things about and I really just want to try out something by Sylvia Moreno Garcia as well. So I'm so excited. Okay. Next, we got a book that I speak about in every video about books I want to read, and I still haven't read it yet. And it is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. Now, this is going to be five stars. This is going to be five stars. YA magical realism is my shit. It's my shit. And the fact that I still haven't read a book by Anna Marie McLemore, like, honestly, it's over for me. The cheek, the nerve, the gall, the audacity, and the gumption. Like, I'm so ashamed. Um, so, Anna Marie McLemore's books are something that I'm constantly told. I shouldn't really know the synopsis necessarily going into this. Kayla from Books and Lala told me that this is the best book to start with for Anna Marie McLemore, and I just want to read it so bad. I believe this is about a family of women that their lovers vanish if they if they fall in love or something like that. I don't know. I just know that Anna Marie McLemore is gonna be a five star author for me. Like I, f I feel it in my bones. So this is gonna be five stars. Next on this list is a murder mystery that I'm super excited to read and it is The Islanders by S.V. Leonard. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Oh my God, I cannot wait to read this. Some of you have already read this cause I've spoken about this in book hauls and stuff. Um, and some of you have read it before me and I've heard good things. You guys have fed me back with like good feedback so far. So this is about a woman who goes on basically Love Island, which you don't know is like this dating show where contestants go to this like tropical place and fall in love and they're mingling, they're drinking, they're having a good time and then someone dies. <laughs> the contestant finds out that if she doesn't figure out who the killer is, Every hour, another person in this group is gonna die. And it's this twisted game. And I'm so excited. I love murder mysteries. I love murder mysteries with a game element. I love isolated. That is my top thing. It's isolated murder mysteries where you have this set of characters um, that are stuck in this place. Like, that's my favorite thing. So I'm just without a shadow of a doubt, this is gonna be five stars. I cannot wait to get to this. Another book that I have been very angry about that I haven't got to yet because I have been so slow in doing all of my reading vlogs uh, because I definitely want to vlog this and like take you through the journey of reading it with me so yeah oh I'm so excited and again I've heard really good things from you guys who have read it because I've mentioned it and I've read it before me <laughs> This next one might seem a bit left field and it is Snow White Learns Witchcraft by Theodora Goss. Now the cover of this is not a five star prediction. <laughs> You've been very, very harsh. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Very harsh. Theodora Goss wrote The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter, which is one of my favorite series. It is this gothic Victorian YA murder mystery series 
with a lot of the daughters or female versions of men from classic Victorian literature in this found family. And I actually don't really know, again, some of these I don't know they're about, but it's more to do with the author. Um, this is eight, eight short stories and 24 poems, and it's uh, retellings of fairy tales. So like, Theodora Goss can just do like retellings and reimaginings, like I just, I can feel it. Her writing is some of my favourite writing I've ever read. Like it's witty, it's funny, but it's deep. And I love how she explores things that we already are aware of and already know and like kind of picks them apart and puts them back together. Oh my God, this just sounds so unhinged. This sounds so, I don't think I've ever read the synopsis of this. This sounds so unhinged. A young woman hunts for her wayward shadow at the school where she first learned magic. While another faces a test she never studied for as ice envelops the world. The tasks assigned a bookish boy lead him to fateful encounters with lizards, owls, trolls, and a feisty, sarcastic cat. A bear wedding is cause for celebration. The spinning wheel on the tower in the briar hedge get to tell their own stories. And a kitchen maid finds out that a lost princess is more than she seems. What? Very strange. <laughs> uh I am so excited. I love short stories and poetry and I'm just, I just can't wait. Like, I just know it's going to be good. Theodora Goss gets me, gets my vibe, gets what I'm looking for. It's going to be five stars. Whilst we're talking about ones I don't really know the plot of, um, hang on, I got you kind of flashing you. Let's talk about Horrid by Katrina Leno. It's gonna be five stars. It's gonna be five stars. Now, again, I don't really know the plot. One of my favorite covers of all time, like one of the best covers, like I am obsessed with this. Now, the reason this is on this list is because You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno was one of my favorite books of last year. I read it right at the end of last year after I'd filmed my best books video. It haunts me to this day and I loved it. I loved it how strange and all over the place and how it explored anger. And so I feel like Katrina Leno is probably very good at exploring dark emotions through this like surrealism way. And that is why it's on this list. I am so excited to read everything by Katrina Leno. Like I am so ready to fall in love with this author and to read everything by this author. So that paired with the color, <laughs> I can't speak today. So the fact that it's by Katrina Leno paired with this cover, equals five stars in my opinion. Now the next book may be a bit surprising because I don't think I've spoken about it in quite a long time but it is Moon of the Crested Snow by Wabig Shig Rice. So I got this and I was so excited to get it about a year ago I think. Whoops. Y'all should be so ashamed of yourself. Ah. And all I know about this is like a thriller um, set in this indigenous community and they lose the power. As they are cut off without any power or communication, the society begins to crumble and then these unexpected visitors arrive. So that's all I really know. It's super duper short, but I am so excited to read this. It's just been one that's been like on the top of my list that I want to read for so long. I feel like I'm going to need to do a couple like 24, 48 hour readathons at some point, like once uni is done to get through books like this. Like I love short isolated thrillers. Like this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Snow, I love snow. I love snow. I love how snow disconnects you. And like, I loved One by One by Ruth Ware and how isolated that was with the snow. Um, so yeah, super excited to get to this. Okay, next is another book I've been speaking about for a long time and still haven't read. <laughs> and it is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This is kind of like a murder mystery with this. Uh, have I haven't read it yet. I know. It's like one of the first books I ever bought. Okay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I feel very attacked! Relax. So this is about Evelyn Hardcastle who dies at this party her parents are throwing and one of the guests starts waking up every day, living the same day in a different body of one of the other guests, basically. And he has to try and figure out what has happened, who killed Evelyn Hardcastle. It's kind of like Cluedo meets Groundhog Day vibes. I've heard this is difficult to get into. Like I've heard a lot of people like you start it and you are very confused. You're like, what the hell is going on? But you get into it eventually. And I just feel like that kind of, 
I like books that challenge me a bit. Not too much. Don't challenge me too much. <laughs> Not House of Leaves level, but Middle Game, for example, is a book that can be a bit difficult to get your head around, but I really loved. So this is how I feel like I'm going to feel about this. I feel like this is our Middle Game equivalent, but like completely different genres and synopsis and whatever. Just that element of a little bit of challenging, but like not too much is I feel like the vibe. I love murder mysteries, definitely my favourite genre. And so it's time that I read this soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then the last book that I have on this list is currently one of my books that is wrapped up, my wrapped up series, and it is Library of the Unwritten. Who is this by? I can't remember the author's name. Anyway, <laughs> you'll see it on the screen. You'll see a picture of it on the screen, <laughs> whoever the author is. But I have been told so many times that this is my kind of book. All I know about it is that we have this library where like the stories are kept, like heroes are kept, and the hero and the author are never supposed to meet because it has like awful consequences. But one of the heroes escapes a book and our librarian has to try and catch them before they meet their author. Very strange but I feel like it could be my kind of thing. I feel like this book was really hyped up last year and it's kind of died down, but people still recommend it to me as like, this could be your favorite book. Like you could absolutely love it. So it's probably one of the ones whenever I do wrapped up that I'm like hoping and praying to unwrap. Please, please, please. I kind of like forgot about it because I kind of forget about the books that are wrapped up because I don't see them. Um, and then I went and I looked at my list on there and I was like, oh my God, that is totally a five-star prediction. So there we have it. That is my five-star prediction. I have utter faith in myself that it's going to be correct and it's going to be five stars. Let me know if you have read any of these and what you rated them, what you think I'm going to rate them, which ones you think I should get to first. And if you've gotten to the end, comment any star emojis that you want to comment. Any kind of star emoji um and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in another video bye